The Kingdom Mission, located inside a dilapidated theater in Harlem, New York City. Its preacher, Pastor John, leads his flock with gospel. In his sermons, he shares the price of walking through the gates of heaven, all your money. The Kingdom Mission is where private detective Harry Angel meets his client, Louis Cipher, who will hire him to find the elusive Johnny favorite. We explore the secrets within the mission, including why it is so appealing to Mr. Cipher. Angel Heart was released in 1987, written and directed by Alan Parker, and based on the novel Falling Angel by William Schwartzberg. The first image we see outside the mission is of a grieving crowd in mourning. Immediately, the mission is painted in a mood of chaos, or better put, distress and anxiety. When Angel steps inside and climbs the stairs, we see only a silhouette. His identity is obscured in a very film noir style. The light reveals him again, but it seems he appears he is stepping into a trap as he is surrounded by bars and gates. Angel pauses for a moment, combs his hair, and steps ahead. He immediately appears on a second floor balcony, looking below to Pastor John's sermon. While Angel climbs three steps outside, and by my account 14 inside, there seems to be a little play on spatial awareness. The room Angel looks down from the balcony seems too deep in comparison. Where else do we see staircases reminding us of an Escher painting? It's in the opening scene, where steam rises from icy snow up into a world of stairs. The walls of the Harlem Mission pulpit is decorated in dark red, I would describe as blood red. Angel looks past an undecorated chandelier with a single bowl burnt out. A very subtle, almost subliminal message how distressed the mission is. Pastor John is unapologetically preaching about giving him money, even so going so far to demand a Rolls Royce from his flock. On the surface, we get a feeling that the film is depicting religion that is less than flattering, but in fact, working to keep us off balance. If you can look past the comical absurdity of Pastor John's rather blunt ask for money, take notice how popular and effective he is. As cash is waved at his face, he's not even trying to be subtle. I think the curtains behind him is also a subliminal message. Is it really a street level window? Or a facade that makes it look like a window, but the pulpit is deep in the basement? Wine Sap introduces himself to Angel and gives likely the most weird and awkward handshake in cinema before being escorted to his client. Harry Angel can't help to notice a faceless woman in black scrubbing the walls from blood. Wine Sap explains the most unfortunate and unpleasant act from a husband of Pastor John's flock. The theme of a distressed mission continues. Angel enters the mission sanctum where he is introduced to Louis Cipher. Notice how Winesap obscures Cipher before stepping aside and revealing him like royalty. Cipher is seen sitting prominent in a chair propped on a raised platform. With his cane swiveling back and forth, Cipher looks regal. Cipher asks Angel for his identification and though we do not see him flip through the plastic card holders, we do know Angel already poses in several different identities. Angel is asked about Johnny Liebling, spelled Lie Bling, and his stage name, Johnny Favorite. Harry Angel squirms and looks uneasy and defensive. Cypher and Winesap never explain how they found Harry Angel and why they chose him to find the elusive Johnny favorite. For $50 a day, Angel takes up on their offer. 
after a second meeting with Cypher in an Italian cafe where Angel explains he couldn't find favorite but takes up on Cypher's offer to continue for $5,000. Angel returns to the Harlem mission. Neither the film nor the script gives an explicit explanation, but my belief, Angel is drawn to the room with the splattered blood. Walking through the vestry, he finds the door closed this time and a translucent window glowing red. However, the evidence in the room has been all cleaned up. To the audience, this is foreshadowing. However, to Harry Angel, it triggers memories of another window glowing red. The scene cuts to Pastor John's sanctum, where Harry Angel sits and stares at an empty royal chair, where a mysterious cabinet grabs his attention. He opens the cabinet and uncovers disturbing objects resembling black magic, including a mummified monkey, eyeballs, and voodoo dolls. His discovery is timed to the parading choir outside, singing While Pastor John is outside, paraded like a king, we understand his true religion. Angel returns to the pulpit, having descended from another set of stairs, and comes across a mysterious stranger in black. It terribly piqued his curiosity. He is compelled to approach the figure. The script describes the figure in the shroud as a woman. However, I have a theory that will be explained in a later video. Angel never gets to see the shrouded figure as two heavies attack him. We only see the figure in black in one other cut. The figure is unmoved, oblivious to the events happening behind her. Angel escapes through the mission, as if it was a maze, including racing through staircases. Again, playing on spatial awareness. Perhaps he's not just escaping the mission, but a little version of hell. He jumps into Pastor John's vanity parade and looks to give not just one, but four deliberate shoves into Pastor's bearers. This is also a message what Angel really feels about the pastor's religious beliefs. We see dogs again, and the first time pursuing Harry Angel before he escapes. Before we reveal a little known link between Louis Cipher and the mission, like, share, or subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this one. Ever wonder why Cipher wanted to meet Angel in Harlem? Or ask yourself why he helped himself to the pastor's throne with a glass of wine? The script tells Pastor John is a business associate of Louis Cipher, who obviously is helping the pastor in his efforts to raise money. The script also tells a story how Pastor John bought a hotel in Newark using only cash. Speaking to himself, Harry Angel calls out the racket the preacher is running when he sees the money flowing after a cheesy sermon. It puts his deliberate confrontation with the pastor in a clear perspective. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think of the Kingdom Mission? A friendly community resource for enlightenment or a small piece of the underworld with a heavy price of admission? This is Mr. G of Synergy saying, when a Cadillac won't do, True love means riding in a Rolls Royce. Make sure to check out other videos on my channel. Thanks for watching.